Did you know that both celiac and gluten sensitivity are hallmark features of SIRS? In fact, gluten sensitivity is so prevalent in SIRS that it has its own step, which is the fourth step in the SIRS treatment protocol. More precisely, the goal in this step is to correct levels of anti-gliadin antibodies if they are elevated. But in reality, this is a point where patients can start targeting inflammation in the gut more specifically. So you can finally start thinking about adopting gut healing regimens. So things like probiotics, glutamine, colostrum, marshmallow root, butyrate, and so on. But you might be wondering though, why not do this from the very beginning? Well, you can, but the benefits are gonna be very limited. Keep in mind that these food intolerances are closely tied to the suppression of alpha melanocyte stimulating hormone, or MSH, a hormone that protects us from leaky gut. For this reason alone, proper gut healing will be more difficult, if not impossible, until you go through the first three steps of the protocol. So those are removing yourself from exposure, using appropriate binders to pass the visual contrast test, and start attacking Marcons in your sinuses. Completing those steps means that you've significantly reduced neuroinflammation to allow MSH to start going back up and restore gut functioning.